First of all, we would like to express our thoughts and prayers with the victims of the ISIS's attacks in France. In the same fashion, we express our thoughts and prayers uh, for the victims of the ISIS's attacks in Syria, in Lebanon, and in Turkey. ISIS does not represent Muslims. The majority of the victims of ISIS attacks are Muslim and Muslims worldwide in the US, in Europe, in the Middle East have condemned and continue to condemn the, br the brutal nature of this terrorist organization. Yeah, first, if I may, I'd like to, to offer my condolences to the previous guest, my fellow guest on today's show, um, for her loss and for her family. And my thoughts and prayers are with her, but I also commend her for her courage in speaking in support of humanity and also offer condolences to the people of Paris and France and all those who are victimized by these horrific acts. Bring in the National Communications Director of CARE, Ibrahim Hooper. Ibrahim, with a welcome to you. First of all, the Muslim community in general and the pain with these attacks, how are they reacting here in the States? Well, of course, the American Muslim community, like all Americans, have uh, roundly condemned uh, these attacks, as we've condemned all the previous attacks uh, by this uh, this brutal, thuggish group, ISIS. I mean, it's it's really incredible that you can get human beings to carry out these kinds of atrocities and uh, think that somehow it's justified by their faith, which it obviously is not. At the same time, we cannot let terrorists divide us and promote fear and hatred. It's Hassan Shibli's job as the executive director to advocate for other Muslims, but he says he also advocates for his country to youth who have been radicalized by groups like ISIS. And Muslims around the world are condemning the attacks. We spoke to members of the local chapter of CARE, the Council for American Islamic Relations. They say they want the world to know ISIS and terrorism have no religion. You can't be a Muslim and fear God and wreak such havoc on uh, humanity, on innocent civilians, and just people who have nothing to do with whatever these people think their issues and problems are. So these people may call themselves Islamic or Muslim, got nothing to do with Islam. Karen Dabdub is with the Council on American Islamic Relations, saying the relationship between those fleeing ISIS violence there and those condemning it here should strengthen, not fray. They cause us to panic and to fear each other, then they've won. Saturday afternoon, the Birmingham Islamic Society and CARE, the Council on American Islamic Relations, sent out a statement saying, quote, we condemn these horrific crimes in the strongest terms possible. Our thoughts and prayers are with the loved ones of those killed and injured and with all of France. Ugly face of terrorism, Daesh, that likes to call itself ISIS, has nothing to do with the true message of Islam. We are going to tell all the, the mosques and the people to be more vigilant and to be more careful when they're going out or if they see something or hear something, they need to report it. Now we are joined by Samina Usman, Governmental Relations Coordinator for the Council on American Islamic Relations. Thank you for joining us this afternoon. I guess no matter how it's addressed on a, a global scale, it seems that after every terrorist attack, there just appears to be backlash. This Islamophobia, 14 years after 9-11, why is that? Well, it's, uh, it's unfortunate. Um, I think what happens is that I think people are bombarded by messages that Islam equals terror or all Muslims um, condone violence or support violence. And in reality, this is the tiniest of a fraction of folks who might support terrorism or might espouse those type of beliefs. When 99.999% of all Muslims uh, condemn this type of violence and speak, to, speak for peace, um, the problem is that, you know, we need to get the word out. And Muslims uh, all over the world have been continually um, um, condemning violence and condemning this type of terrorism, but it's not being heard. Um, you have imams and sheikhs and you know m religious leaders from all over the world who are speaking out against this. And so I thank you very much for, for highlighting this because the everyday average Muslim wants peace, condemns violence.
The New Jersey chapter of the Council on American Islamic Relations will join other Muslim groups at Rutgers to condemn recent terror attacks. Meanwhile, Muslim communities across New Jersey are calling the Paris attacks barbaric. Eighteen Islamic groups in the state released a joint statement through the Islamic Society of Basking Ridge. The statement says the religion of Islam is against terrorism and the terrorists do not represent Muslims. It's important that Muslims speak out with respect to explaining to the public exactly what al-Islam is and what it isn't. Uh, just yesterday we had a press conference, a uh, group of Muslim leaders and community members and activists uh, in New Jersey, right, which your station was present at, decrying and denouncing the terrorist acts that are committed by people like ISIS because ISIS, despite what they say, to the contrary, they do not represent al-Islam in no shape, way, form, or fashion. And that has to be stated over and over and over again.